What's up guys, it's Allison. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome to my channel and thank you so much for being here. In today's video, we are doing this look right here, which is my everyday, I wouldn't call it a no makeup look because I don't really do no makeup looks, but if this was a no makeup look, this is it for me, <laughs> even though there's quite a few steps right there. But this is my everyday look that I do when I go to work. I have to keep my makeup very simple and natural when I go to work. Some would say this is not natural at all. I mean, look at her highlight. <laughs> but it's natural to me, okay? So if you wanna see how I create this look, make sure you keep on watching. Let's get right into this video. Let's first start off with some foundation. I'm gonna use my go-to, my every single day, my Fenty Beauty in shade 290. I just can't seem to go without it. I got my damp beauty blender and we're just gonna start going on in. Now my brows are already done. This is definitely not a brow tutorial. <laughs> you know, I'll just be honest, like it's really difficult for me to do my brows on camera. I'm trying to practice to get better so I can actually do my brows on camera once in a while when I'm doing like a full face. As of now, I just do them off camera and then start filming. Another thing that I don't do very well on camera is winged liner or liner in general. It's just, it's kind of like the same thing with the brows. Like I need to be up in the dang mirror very close to see what I'm doing and I'm just not very good at doing either. So it's so funny before I started filming YouTube videos, I didn't even know how to like hold like a mirror or something and do my eyeshadow and stuff. I would, I would just, it took me a while to kind of get comfortable with that, but now it's not like a big deal to me anymore. For those of you who don't know already, I do work for In-N-Out Burger, so my schedule is never quite the same. It's very different. I mean, I, I work day shifts and then I work night shifts. My day shifts start at 8 a.m. and then when I work the night, I start at about 4, 4.30. Well, I clock in at 4.30, but I usually get to the store about 4 o'clock. My go-to everyday makeup look for work is pretty much the same whether it's the day shift or the night shift. I tend to do a little bit extra when I work the night because I just have more time, whereas in the morning, I mean, sometimes I don't know how I get ready in the time that I get ready because <laughs> I don't wake up with enough time to be able to do everything that I want. I still end up being the same thing. I have to keep my makeup very basic, very natural, uh, nothing too distracting. We are actually, it's a policy, we can't even wear wing liner at work and that actually changed maybe a few years ago. So I just like to keep it super simple. Of course, I always am wearing my highlight no matter what. Sometimes I'll throw on like a bronzer on my lid or something like that. Once in a while, I get a little bit of balls and go to work with a little like smoky eye type vibe or, or I'll wear like a bold red or something like that. But every time I do that, I go in and I feel like it's just so distracting and then like it's very noticeable so everyone like says something. Like which it's all usually really good but then the downside of that is all the girls that work for me, so I'll just say I'm a store manager and I have about like 90 associates that I manage. So if I go into work like full glam, smoky eye, like super dramatic eye looks and stuff like that, I'm kind of like sending a message to all the girls that do work for me that it's okay to do it, you know? And then if everyone starts doing it and then we start getting visitors, we're gonna be like, you have got to tone down your makeup because this is not okay, <laughs> you know? I do set my foundation with my all-nighter setting spray. I like to let it dry a little bit and then I'll go back in with my beauty blender and just pounce everything in. Going into my Shape Tape Concealer now just for under my eyes. I don't put it anywhere else and this is really like it's pretty much out so I'm like scraping to get the product out. I definitely need to re-up on this. Something that I'm going to do different today that I don't have time to do in the morning just because I can't wake up in time to do it is I am going to use some of these Cover FX drops to get some highlight on my cheekbones before I even set my concealer. I just love a blinding highlight. I just, I don't know why, I just love it. Oh, do you guys see that? Oh my god, I love it. So I'm getting the product on there and then I'll kind of like blend it out. I might have to use my finger or whatever. 
So some crazy stuff has like happened to me recently. I don't know if any of you guys have ever had like your debit card information stolen from you or your identity stolen from you. But just recently somebody stole my debit card information, basically created a fake PayPal account and spent like a thousand dollars in different transactions through this fake PayPal account with my debit card. It was not a very fun experience whatsoever. So when I saw these transactions, I called PayPal and I'm telling you dude, trying to deal with PayPal, it, I think it was like a two hour wait, telling them like what's going on and they're like there's no transactions on your account. I'm like um, it says PayPal on these different transactions on my bank account. Um, then how is this happening if it's not on my account? So that's how we found out that they actually stole my um, debit card information and created that account. And basically what this chick told me was like there's really nothing that we can do to you. We disabled your card on PayPal so it can't be used. And I'm like well what are you going to do about this person who is stealing people's information, creating fake accounts, and making unauthorized transactions. Like, do you, it's just okay with you guys? She didn't really, like, tell me anything. I was so freaking fired up, and they're like, well, you need to call your bank. Like, we can't help you. Okay, so I got that base of the highlighter on, and then I set my under eyes. Now I'm going to go in with my highlighter because I've really been enjoying putting my highlighter on first. I really need to dedicate a day to like clean all my brushes, like it's ridiculous. Um, this is just like a wet and wild highlighting brush and I haven't used this since it's been like three weeks or something because my last one got broken on my flight home from Costa Rica. So here we go. Oh my god, this is like the best combo right here. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. There's nothing like a brand new highlighter, right? You guys feel me? Getting a little nose contour. Oh, that's what I'm forgetting. I was like, what am I forgetting? Like, what step am I missing right here? I've been using this Pure Cosmetics Bright Bronze and Brighten Cheek Palette that I got in my January BoxyCharm. I'm just living for it. And I literally, I mix the blush and the bronzer together for a little blush bronzy action, you know? Just two, one tap each, get it on there. Now, because it's a night shift and I have a little bit of time to actually do my makeup, I am gonna put a little something something on my lid. I'm just like looking for my brush as I'm trying to talk to you guys. This is like my go-to bronzer for a little bronzer on my eyelid just to give it a little, you know, but yeah, so I just like, you know, put this, I actually try to bring it all over the entire lid. And then this is all I will put on my eyes. And then when I go to work, I try to keep like my lipstick super, like I like to wear lipstick to work, but I try to wear like a nude type color just so it's not like distracting and everybody's like, oh, you got lipstick on today. You know, um, during Christmas, like the week of Christmas, I actually wore like a different bold red every day and like everyone was there for it and living for it, just like I was. But I just, I don't know. I would do that every single day, but I get, I get self-conscious. Like I don't want people, like I don't know, I don't want to send the wrong message, you know, when I'm like the manager and I have to like set the example and all that stuff, so otherwise, Girl, when I work the night shift, I'd be going like full glam, glitter, glitz, er, er thing, just to sell some hamburgers, you know? Mascara is on. I used my little mini Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. Now, recently, I have been using glosses like every single day. But before, I would always use a liquid lipstick. I've gone through numerous different nude type shade liquid lipsticks from Kylie Cosmetics Candy K to a couple different Tarte lip paints. And then my most recent was Dose of Colors Truffle. And just like the last couple of weeks, I've been using glosses every day because I just love how it's looking. Even though I have a, whole, a little bit of extra highlighter on my lips right now. <laughs> We're just going to use Kylie Cosmetics Lip Gloss and So Cute and this one, the wand, I don't know if you guys can tell but 
I can't like zoom in because I do this all on my own but girl <laughs> it's like a freaking spider um, so I try to be really careful my hair is up for this final look because this my hair is up when I go to work because once I get to work I put a hat on and it's on for about nine to ten hours you know what I'm saying so yeah this is my this is my look when I go to work my every day it's so funny because on my days off I don't like to do anything simple I like to go full glam if I'm just going to the grocery store or if I'm going to Costco and I think it's because every day for work you know five days a week 45 to 50 hours a week I have to basically like this is this is suitable for work. When I'm off, it's like, how full glam can I get just because? That's how it is and that's how I am. You know what I'm saying? This brings us to the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed me creating my everyday makeup, simple makeup, work, glam, then please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!